This is the Samsung Galaxy S3 phone. It's Samsung's new flagship smartphone. Now, a lot of the attention on the phone is focused on its hardware, such as this large and super sharp screen and the quad-core processor. But Samsung are also very excited about some of the software features inside it that make it really simple and intuitive and easy to use. So let's take a look at some of these features. Now the first of those is direct call. What that means is, if you've got someone's number on the screen, such as if you've received a text message from them or you've checked your call log and you've got a missed call, you don't actually have to navigate and hit the call button or type in their number. As long as the number's on the screen, you just pick it up and hold it against your head the proximity sensor will detect the movement and will actually put the call through. The phone's proximity sensor is also put to good use with Smart Alert. What this means is, if you've got the phone on a desk, for example, and you miss a call or miss a text message, when you move the phone, the phone will detect it and will vibrate, alerting you to the fact that you've missed the call or you've missed that important text message so you can get back in touch with that person straight away. But perhaps the cleverest software feature in the phone is called Smart Stay. Now what that does is it uses the front facing camera here to detect your eye movement. Now why would it do that? Well it's quite simple really. On most phones you set a screen timeout to save battery life so you can set the, the phone to turn off the screen after a period of inactivity, say 10 or 15 seconds. But this can be really frustrating if you're actually watching the, the phone, maybe watching a video or listening to the music player and you don't want the phone to turn off. What SmartStay will do is it will scan for sort of eye movement to check you're watching or using the phone and if you are it will keep the phone in action. It's a really handy feature and worked well in our tests. After all it's little more frustrating when using a phone that it turns itself off or even worse it actually activates the screen lock so you've got to unlock it before you can use it again. Now the Galaxy S3 is launching in the UK at the end of May and we'll be rushing one off to our labs to test it as soon as possible. We'll then publish our results along with more information about the device and in fact all smartphones on the UK market on which.co.uk.